dragons. They're big, they're formidable, they're intimidating, they sometimes partake in four, and they are a huge part of the furry fandom. A lot of people simp for very sexy dragons. Oh, yes. So today we're going to be looking at dragon memes, a very, very niche subculture of the furry fandom. And, well, we're, gonna, we're just going to have fun today. Because <laughs> I'm gonna be gonna have to uh, have, gonna have to be going to a toy con uh, today, so um, this is gonna be a very quick video. Let's go. I have two dragons inside of me: the good dragon, nah, and the bad dragon. Oh yes, sponsored by Bad Dragon Toys and Bad Dragon Sex Paraphernalia. Oh yes. So they're both inside of you. You can't make him, like, take turns or something? They're now both inside of you. God damn, you're such a hoe. You hoe? <laughs> I'm sorry, we, don't, we, we do not slut shame people here, right? If you're, if you're the kind of person to want to have a dragon and a bad dragon toy inside of you, that's your thing. I can't say anything otherwise. Oi, get off our castle, you overgrown lizard. I don't take orders from you, puny morals. All right, Sir Roderick, bring me the broom. Right, Scott, get out of here. Ah! <laughs> uh, this is kind of cute. I love this. <laughs> Can you just imagine? Like, we have dragons today, but they don't act like conventional dragons. They act like just the common pigeon, you know? They're sentient enough for a conversation, you know? They're smart enough to realize that they're being dicks, but they're not doing anything to, like, better themselves. So we have to, like, treat them as pigeons. We just grab a broomstick somewhere and just smack the hell out of him to get him out of places. <laughs> That'd be cute. I love that. The dragon is also a symbol of power, strength, and good luck for people who are worthy of it in East Asian culture. During the days of Imperial China, the Emperor of China usually used the dragon as a symbol of his imperial strength and power. LOL, TLDR, it looks hot. Yeah. <laughs> no other reason, no other reason for the furry fandom to have a dragon as a symbol of strength and power. It's just a TLDR that says, uh, eat hot. Yeah. They're sexy and big. Uh, they can swallow me whole. Yeah. <laughs> and it's rather fascinating to me that a lot of cultures around the world have like some form of of connection to dragons, whether if it be positive or negative. Uh, dragons to England, they're sort of negative, uh, especially in most European countries. In China, like this post says, it's a symbol of power and wealth and luck. Here in the Philippines, we also have our version of a dragon, okay? We call it the Bakunawa. The Bakunawa is uh, said to have, to, uh, to, see, have said to have eaten a part of the moon that's why you know we get solar eclipses no not solar eclipses lunar eclipses uh, during the night uh, the, then the moon turns red uh, when the moon turns red it's because the bakunawa took a bite out of it and the moon is now bleeding uh, uh, maybe that that's how i heard the legend goes but uh, some uh, some filipino uh, uh, historians history buffs uh, down in the comments below maybe they'll correct me hey do you mind if i sit here for a minute I'm ready to piss off some guy, and if I make it look like I'm here with a dragon, he may not kick my ass. Uh, sure. Nyeh. Nyeh. Huh? Uh, there is no guy, is there? No. I just always wanted to be guarded by a dragon. Makes me feel like a princess. Aw. Oh. Hmm, <laughs> you smooth bastard, yes. I would like to imagine that this is how it goes in most bars. If the furry, if the furry world uh, were to exist, like you walk up to a dragon, this is the kind of pickup line that you would use. Like, hey, can you protect me for the night? I can be the princess that you're looking for. Oh yes, I just thought of that right now. Okay, that was not scripted. I'm very, very proud of that. <laughs> But before we get into any more dragon memes for today's video, let's go check out the shoutouts, the Patreon shoutouts for today's video as well. We have Fox Demon, Whisper Whisper, Carapini, Keo Plays, Anne's Eye Thesis, Leon Varma, Voltage, Benjamin Wilson, Piano Creations, Werewolf Detective Pa, Gurgly T Gurgly, also known as Gary T, 845, Mad Scientist, The Unknown Fluff, Nate Pope, and Monster Kids. Two, three, four. Thank you guys so much for being my patrons for this month and continuing to support me and the channel. It keeps me from dying and starving. You guys are doing superheroes work. <laughs> and if you guys want to join uh, my Patreon, uh, 
you might want to go down the description or you know the pinned comment you know if you can find it i don't know uh support the channel and whatnot um like more more <laughs> more dragon memes damn it dad dad i can't find my lsd we have bigger problems uh, what <sighs> there's a dragon in the kitchen and the dragon in the kitchen is buff naked wearing nothing but an apron leaving his ass very very much exposed and he's cooking you the best goddamn stir fried vegetables in the goddamn world isn't that just the dream right there to have a dragon of your own who loves you enough to cook stir fried vegetables for you do you have an idea how hard it is to make stir fried vegetables you should be very very grateful but alas he's not actually real he is just an induced hallucination by the lsd sad moments Hashtag sad moments. <laughs> so imagine you're a princess, all right? Or maybe you're just a damsel in distress, all right? You were captured by a dragon, all right? Are you, the reason why the dragon captured you remains ambiguous, okay? They have their own fucking reasons why they captured you in the first place. So you're a princess. You're waiting in the dragon's lair. You're chained up. And uh, for you have waited for like, you know, maybe maybe 10 years 20 years for you to for, your, for you to get your ass saved from that dragon imagine your fucking frustration when the knight that's supposed to save you finds the dragon more attractive than you because you're built basically just this just a normal human being but the dragon is built like a dump truck <laughs> and to be honest i would do the same thing too screw the princess uh, give me the fucking dragon Mmm, have you wished a sugar dragon? Oh, hello, daddy. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> remember the trope of uh, just taking the most mundane character and turning it into, into a bara daddy? <laughs> they did it with Stitch. They did it with Long from the Wish Dragon. And uh, I, I kind of like don't like uh, the, the, the Stitch one, but I kind of like Bara Long. He's a... Uh, <laughs> Even 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 though even if he wasn't like uh, barified, he still looks like a daddy, you know. But with this design, with the with the with the 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 the, 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 the chiseled uh, chin and the big pecs, oh god, uh, mm, yes please, yes, give me give me give me uh give me a wish. The only wish I want is to have him. Oh yes. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Patreon, support me on Coffee. Check out my TikTok. I have a thousand followers on there. Please make it take, make it go to like two thousand before the end of July. Uh and uh <laughs> I gotta go get ready for the toy con. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. And this has been your fellow the Cook Cookboss88. See ya. Stay foxy, much love.